Well, you folks at home can see the evidence. Snow and supposedly a few inches yet to fall here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly as they get ready to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. First and ten, Prescott. And his first look is incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten, again from the 25-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses, because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways, because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> but he's got it. At the 41-yard line. Second and 12. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. Prescott. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A gain of 10. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4, six, 6'5, six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. It's a first down following a gain of three. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Mikel Roby brings him down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Here's second and nine. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Schultz. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. The seventh play now, this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Prescott from the gun. And that will be incomplete. And that one off the mark. A little late with a throw. Incomplete. It's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They hand off to their big tight end. And he'll power his way up near the 25. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. 
brings up second and four. Second and four. Working from the gun, Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Miles Sanders. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up third down and two. Sanders first carry of the game and they're going to mark him down short maybe by about a yard if that now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up while the training staff takes a peek we'll take a break Johnston to boot it away. Fielded at about the 28. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second down, it's Elliott. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. On third down, it's Prescott. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Jalen Mills. Prescott's pass intercepted. The Eagles take over first and On first and ten, it's Sanders. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Shotgun now for Wentz. Trying to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. The 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have a coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. Now, these are not going to be easy on a cold, snowy night, but this one is up and through. Cowboys 7, Eagles nothing.
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From the six. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Now whistles and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. And they'll start out here with a jet sweep. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. He's brought down at the 31. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. From the gun, it's Wentz. Now he steps away, and yeah, he's going to keep it here. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. The last drive, remember, a similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. On first down, Sanders, and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Four yards remain for second down. Wentz on the give to Sanders. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. From midfield, here's Wentz. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and 11. And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Throwing now is Wentz. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough legs. And the difference is what? Well, game. your live conditions, live right? Live conditions, game conditions are a whole lot different than practice where you just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you when you have to do it when it's real. Now this one complete on the slant route. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. First down, Cowboy. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Draw play, Elliott. 
And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What, is it three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. Flush to his right. Touchdown, Dallas Cowboys. And that's a nice sight to see there. Dak Prescott bursting into the end zone. He used the quarterback run game and his scrambling ability to a great advantage his first three seasons. Scored six touchdowns each of those seasons on the ground, but only three last year. I think he's underutilizing an important element in his game, his legs. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. 14, Eagles nothing. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Takes it at the seven. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it second down and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Wentz. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. He was brought down. At the Calling a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. It's now second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Sanders here as they run out of the gun and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. And Sanders has got it complete. 
And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A big pickup there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. On first down, it's Sanders. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The tackle made at the 36-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Carrier brought down at the 35-yard line. A one-yard gain brings up third and six. The Eagles on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now wins. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. First and 10. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Wentz to throw. And quickly finding Rager. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A gain of nine. And now you saw exactly why the rookie out of TCU, Jalen Rager, was selected in the first round by the Philadelphia Eagles. Great quickness, terrific speed, adds a deep threat to the lineup. And remember, Carson Wentz threw for over 4,000 yards last year and didn't have a single wide receiver who had catches over 500 yards. A terrific addition by the Eagles in the first round, albeit a bit of a surprise. I think they're going to like what they get out of this young man from Fort Worth. The name of the game is always on defense, put pressure on the quarterback, and that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And that is incomplete. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball on any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. And Jeffrey's got it. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Snap coming at one. Now wins. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And goal at the Cowboys' four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's Sanders. And he will take this one in for an Eagle touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles are back with it a score. Second effort there. He was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about. A back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. is good. Makes the score Cowboys 14, Eagles 7.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now Pollard. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Five yards on the catch there, bring up second down. Brings up second I know down. sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Prescott now. Oh, it was hit at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Well, it's a cold night. And whether you're a quarterback that wears a glove on his throwing hand or not, that ball is a rock, Brandon. You've got to really drive it through the cold and the wind, or it can take off on it. And that may have been what happened there. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 33-yard line. A give running left. It's Sanders. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The ball carrier. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. The offense on third down tonight. Two for five to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try to run for it with Sanders. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. They'll run with Sanders. Uses the stiff arm. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. Only needing two yards on second down. To throw is Wentz. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now wins. Left side here to Sanders. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. For the field goal, a 25-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because three games have been done, the kick was missed one early, and never got a chance to atone for the rest of the game. That's a lot to carry around.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now Pollard. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Oh, what a catch there by Cooper. That's good for 28 yards. First down, Cowboys. Prescott on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Here's second and ten. Prescott. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off by Nate Gary. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Wentz going to throw. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. From six yards away. And the Eagles have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Extra point through the snowflakes. Up and good. And it's now 17-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now Pollard. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And you figure, Charles, they have enough time here in the first half, more than a minute, to put a drive together, at least get them in position to try a field goal. Yeah, they've got all three timeouts at their disposal, so I'm actually thinking bigger. With those three timeouts, that amount of time on the clock, I'm thinking about trying to get a touchdown and settle for a field goal. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. And that was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts 
as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They have the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Scott. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And at the seven yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Cowboys! Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, 60 yards. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. The Eagles gonna take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time, do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it, they're down, they're trying to get back into the game. But you gotta figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Sanders. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Thirty-three yards is the distance on the punt there. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A first down throw for Prescott. 
incomplete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, but it's going to be second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. A give to Elliott. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. 15 yards on the play. First down. First down, Dallas. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, all right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Fielded right around the eight. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time, and that'll bring up second down. wins and he finds his tight end it's Ertz he'll be stopped at the 35 but not before he picks up seven yards that's a gain of seven brings up third and three the second down completion got him seven now here's third and three from the gun, it's Wentz. And he connects with Ertz. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. Now a carry for Sanders. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Miles Sanders, the ball carrier. The tackle made at the 36-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he will go down, a cowboy sack. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. This ball complete to Rager. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. It's fourth down. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And that'll bring him back within a point. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvage three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, there's still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines. Hey, hey, got some points. As you said, inching your way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory.
After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The tackle made by Brandon Graham. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 27-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Looking to throw. Prescott got his man there complete to Gallup. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 12 yards there and a first down. And a Cowboy first down. zero and that's going to be a delay now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game first and 15 they play fake to Elliott now Prescott and he was hit as he threw it there and it forces it incomplete I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him he's got second and third down to fall back on so they'll come up after the incompletion for second down Prescott from the gun. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Nate Gary. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. The Eagles take over the 34 now. Here's first and 10. Wentz on the draw leaves it for Sanders. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now. Making some big time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. They give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Brings up third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. He's got the first down inside the 10. And all the way down to the 5. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. He showed his shiftiness and his explosion to take him all the way down near the goal line. Love that description, and it creates momentum. Maybe you hand it to him again since he's got it going, or do you fake it to him and throw it to a teammate? Right now, the options are wide open. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, it blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. The line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? 
something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. They'll try to run with Sanders. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. And I know this quarterback. His instinct, he's going to want to go for it here on fourth and goal. I want to see if the rational heads on the sidelines prevail and they say this late in the game, let's get three in the lead. This debate is going to be fun. The kick by Elio is good. And with that, the lead changes hands here in this third quarter. This is third field goal now in the ball game, and they needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back and forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you got to tell your defense, guys, I need you to make this stand up because we've got the momentum going in the right direction. But we need you to make sure we can it home. Taken in the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And right away, he'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. The tight end, Blake Bell, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And they have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing. Prescott. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Dak Prescott sacked. Fumble on the play. Recovered by Dallas. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That good for 19 and a first down. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. Now Elliott. 
and they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. A gain of eight. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there. Now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in. And now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go. They're savored a little bit, but I run right back at them. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys have once again taken the lead. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to five. Eagles 23. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. That catch, good for only a couple. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A pickup of five yards. First down, Philadelphia. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Right back to Sanders on first down. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 12 more yards there and another first down. But well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Forced out to his left. He'll try and run it. Breaks through the contact. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. 
on that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it second and goal. Now Wentz. This will be caught at about the five. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Gain of one yard on the That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Wentz. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. No, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. That ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Likely the play of the game here. Trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. And it's caught. A great open field tackle is going to stop him shy of the goal line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Cowboy defense comes up with a goal line stand. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Out of his end zone, Prescott. And now Prescott is going to be taken down. He couldn't get away, and that's a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Scott to return it. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. And he'll throw right away. And that's complete to Sanders. Able to avoid him at the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there and a first down. Brandon, a lot of times you'll see running backs rotate in and out of the game, whether it's completed pass, a good run, it doesn't matter. Here, not only does he stay in, but they go right back to him, and he makes another nice play. Back-to-back -back catches. On first down, Wentz caught by the tight end Ertz. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Eagles first down. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Wentz now on first down. That'll be caught, Rager with it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown, 
And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Carson wins his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, and we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spot? Do they have to come up with options? Because right now, he's hurting him. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now Pollard. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First play of the drive, a success. 19 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. Pass intended for Dalton Schultz. Incomplete. It leads to second and ten. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. It's funny, when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mention, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Ten yards. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Prescott on the keeper. He was brought down by Javon Hargrave. First and goal at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. 
This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. One man in the backfield, that's Elliott on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it. I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper with his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And that gives them a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. At the 25-yard line. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now Wentz. The Sanders has got it complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Working from the gun, Wentz. Rager catches it left side. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Eagles first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Again, it's Wentz. And he'll hit Jeffrey, complete. A gain of six there on first. Alshon Jeffrey. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 40-yard line. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Wins to throw again. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. 
Again, they'll throw with Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. You can't block me. You can't block me. Wince on the give to Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Eagles have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. He's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now Pollard. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 30. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the 38 yard line. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Prescott. And now here is another interception. Picked off near the 42. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Intercepted. The Eagles take over first and On first and 10, it's Sanders. Yard line. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. From the gun, it's Wins. And he connects with Ertz. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Not 
totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Another run with Sanders. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Wins to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Wentz with a kneel down, and that will be the final act of this game. Oh, partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This a 33-yard attempt. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.